What is a gourd and what do you do with it? That's a good question, actually. A gourd is actually uh, the hard, durable fruit of certain members of the cucurbitaceae family, which is a rather large family, but they're grown for utensils, ornamentation, general crafting, and just general purposes. They're a beautiful plant. The leaves are nice and big and green when the plant is growing, but the fruit will dry to a hard, durable shell, which can be used for making things, such as bowls, dishes, baskets, containers, also birdhouses, the most obvious that you think of gourds today is the birdhouse. They've been used over the centuries for things that today we probably use Tupperware for in pottery. There's an, uh, evidence that the gourds have been used well before pottery was even invented for everything I just mentioned. So these certain members of the, this family of plants will grow, they take a long growing season, about 110 to 120 days. They have a variety of shapes and sizes. The large ones are called the hard-shelled gourds. They're the large in area Caesarea. They grow in almost every continent in the world except the northern climates, such as northern North America or northern Europe, because they do take a long growing season. They like lots of sun and lots of water. And for that reason, the northern climates just don't have a temperate enough zone to grow them. Cultures all around the world have used them for various things, including ceremonial items. We have musical instruments and evidence of early musical instruments similar to a banjo that come out of Africa. We have an instrument called a shakeri. Both the Southwestern American Indians and the African originals use them for masks and other ceremonial items. Zena and I bought the farm out here north of Lebanon in 1998 because we got tired of living in the city. We lived in East Nashville and around about the time a certain professional football team was starting to build their stadium in the neighborhood where we lived, we thought it was, now would be a good time to, to get out and get some property. We started out doing some hay and then we found some gourds. I had actually planted a pack of seeds from a, a big box store called Assorted Gourds. That's what it was, and I got some interesting things. I took them to work, and someone said, there's a gourd show out at the Lebanon Fairgrounds next weekend. You should go check it out, and we did, and we were amazed to find what people did with gourds. I got into gourd art when we had started growing them and just had so many of them, didn't know what to do with them, so I started painting uh, first birdhouses, and since I like birds and different things, I would actually take different pictures out of magazines and transform it and put it onto the actual gourd, taking the time to paint it. Some of them, of course, would take two, three hours to paint. Others I could do fairly quickly. And then you, I would also do bowls. You can do bowls with them. You can cut holes in it and weave the patterns, which is called Tenerife. My wife has always been an artist and she discovered a whole new medium for her art because you can paint on them, you can stain on them. If you can do it with a piece of wood, you can do it with a gourd. We then started going to more of these gourd festivals, learning more about it, got some books, and we also realized, well, here's a product that we could grow that we are excited about. So we decided that we would become the primary supplier of gourds for the other area local, or the local artists and, and crafters who like to work with gourds. We actually started about six or seven years ago, maybe eight years ago, with what we called the gourd patch, which was just people who were interested in gourds would come out and each person would take a turn demonstrating something they, they had learned on what to do with a gourd. We did Santa Clauses using paper clay or uh, DOS clay, which is an air dried clay. We would do, of course, the bird houses. We did rain sticks, anything you could think of. and. We figured that this would actually give us a little bit more of a on-farm experience by giving them the actual classes.
Now, the colorful ones that people find in the grocery stores every fall are actually a different branch of that tree. They're called the Cucurbita pepo, which is a, often just referred to as the ornamental gourds. They have a variety of colors, and some of them are multiple colored. They are picked usually for fall decorations, and because they're picked off the vine early, they have a tendency to rot rather than dry out to a hard woody shell. But if they're picked off the vine at the right time, when the vine is matured, then they too will dry to a hard, durable shell. It's just thinner and a little bit more fragile than their bigger cousins, the Larginaria. And yet there is still one more gourd. It is called the loofah gourd. It is the dish rag gourd or the sponge gourd. Many people don't realize that the loofah sponge actually comes from a gourd. And it's the third member of the family. Instead of taking the insides out and throwing them away, on the loofah gourd, we take the shell off and use the inside as a sponge. I've not taken any classes. I've actually done the art all on my own, reading different books, finding different techniques, and just practice, practice, and just learning it. I've enjoyed the idea of art and this just expanded it from a flat form onto a curved surface or whatever surface you want.